This is my client, Diane, and this is two weeks after we treated her upper cervical spine. She uh, works as a massage therapist, and uh, I'm very pleased her upper neck is just fabulous today in terms of uh, all the passive motions that we tested. And so there was no need for me to do any hands-on treatment for the upper neck today. And um, she understands self-treatment for that pattern, and she's been treating it and uh, treating it successfully. So can you give me some feedback? Yes, um, I have normally needed chiropractic or osteopathic care quite regularly, at least every two weeks. And um, uh, when I came to see you two weeks ago, I was feeling like, oh, I'm gonna have to get my neck adjusted. And then you did that upper cervical technique and it felt so much better so during the next two weeks, I was do doing your technique on myself when I would start feeling that feeling again of, oh, my neck needs an adjustment. And it has really helped to calm all that down and it feels much more stable. If I was starting to get like what I would call a, um, a occipital nerve headache, uh, then I would do that technique on myself or have my son do it on me and it would be better. So, and it would go away. And I, it wouldn't progressively get worse like in the past. So how long do you think you had that upper cervical problem that I identified? Oh, I, I know it was since I was 24, because I had a bicycling wreck and that's when it all started. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So I, I have a theory that the NUCA treatment, chiropractic NUCA upper cervical treatment and upper cervical osteopathic adjustments and even adjustments manipulations by physical therapists does not address the sagittal plane phenomenon of that common pattern of C1 being restricted in hyper in hyperextension uh, and not releasing inflection and traction. And it's a bilateral problem and most adjustments are done from the side. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on that? Yeah. And I also think that occasionally the adjustment would almost like magically get it, but not, it wasn't a consistent thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it, it didn't ever completely address it. So now when I do this, and this is so much gentler than that, so much gentler than the forceful manipulation. So I'm very happy with that. Very good. Well, I appreciate the case study. I think it's an important case study. And um, thank you so much. You're welcome.